Hey everyone, welcome to lesson 11 of Hope Tech. Today we're going to start level four. Go ahead and get ready maker ready to go. So today we're going to um, do a ready maker tutorial. There's going to be one screenshot. Um, and here's our values. Be bold, encourage, and explore. So tasks for today, we're going to start our new level, level four. It's our last level, you guys. So getting there. We have a few more weeks left. Um, we're going to put in, we're going to do some of the usual stuff, put in our player, put in the behaviors to move that player around. Um, do the physics. We're going to put in platforms. We're going to put in a background. The new thing for today, so this is our last level. It's going to be our boss level. So we're going to put in a boss and a life meter for that boss. And then we're going to do a screenshot. And the screenshot will just be the scene for our new level. So let's go ahead and head on the ready maker and get going here. All right, so here in Ready Maker, uh, last week, let's do a little review. We finished up level three. So everything should work now. We should have a moving platform, an enemy that chases us, bomb pit, game over, pops up, restarts. Let's see if I can get a relax. And then um, an effect should happen, and our enemy should stop when we collect our object there at the end. So let me go ahead and exit, save it, exit it. Okay. So, but what we're going to do is we're going to start a new level. If you enjoyed today's video, you can like and subscribe down below. You can also sign up for our newsletter at hopenlc.org. So that is um, in the my projects area, or it could be really any of these tabs here. Um, it's the green circle with the white plus sign. We're going to click on that up in the right corner. We're going to do landscape to keep it consistent. Hit start. Um, and here we go. So what we're going to do first is um, put in our player. So let's go to the plus sign. You can keep it consistent. You've been switching it up. Go ahead and switch it up. We're going to go in artwork. We can select from these subcategories here. I know I've been using Cupcake Carl, so I'm just going to search up here. Carl, here he is, there's that guy. All right, I'm gonna click on him, drag him into my scene, and then close out that box there, that window. So uh, first things first, let's put in some gravity, because right now, it's all we got. It's just a character and a blank space. So we're gonna click on our player there, little character. We are gonna go to physics, the second um, option down on the left when you select the object and you're gonna turn active on. So mass will be one, drag is about 10, angular drag up 13. The other thing we're gonna do is lock rotation. So maybe you haven't been locking rotation just to bounce around and that's totally cool, you can leave that off. But if you want them to stay straight up and down, um, go ahead and lock rotation, gravity on. All right, and now you should be able to fall. Oh no. So um, let's go ahead and put in some platforms. Actually, first, let's put in a background. Um, so we're going to hit the plus sign up in the right. I'm going to X out of my search. So if you're searching something, it'll kind of limit your options on the right. If you hit the X on that search, it'll bring everything back up. So I did space last time. What do I want to do this time? Maybe I'll just do the sky. I think I'll do sky. Remember, you can also do the color background if you want. You can do a color background on top of your background. This is kind of fun. I really like pink clouds, pinky orange. Where would that be? Maybe right there. You can always hit reset, redo it all. If you don't like what you got going, let me redo this. I like it. Is that all right? So now let's put in some platforms. It'll be nice to kind of um, thinking about this just for some more contrast in our game. So now I'm going to go to. You can do basic shapes, or you can do artwork. I think I'm going to hmm, see what the platforms are. I might do like clouds or something. Maybe I'll do. 
Let's see what this looks like in here. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll see what kind of clouds are available. Maybe I'll do this guy. And I made those clouds pink enough that. Yeah, I think we need some like legit clouds. So I'm going to delete this trash can right here. After you get a platform or two in there, you can go ahead and hit play. You should be able to sit on that platform. If it doesn't work, some things you can check are in your character or in your platform. Uh, if you go into appearance, you just want to make sure things are solid is on. And if you go down to the bottom, the collider is active, that that is on as well. So that's working. So um, go ahead and spend some time. I'm going to put a couple more things in here. You can hit the, um, if you click on your object, there's the two um, white squares and one has a gray plus sign in it. If you do that, uh, click on that, it will duplicate. I'm just going to duplicate some clouds around here. And the other one's a little stormy looking compared to this fluffy white one. I'm going to turn the opacity down on this guy. There you go. So that way, um, next, what we're going to do is put in some behaviors. I'm going to flip some of these around too um, to move, and we just want something to move too. Yeah, with these platforms, if you have objects like this that are not just like a rectangle, you can flip things horizontally, which is left and right, and vertically is up and down. Just mix it up, I guess. Just make things look a little different. Okay, probably can't jump these, but we can work on that here in a bit. What you could also do, and I might end up doing this, is uh, this is a boss scene, so we could just put a bar on the bottom. I'll do that too, just to try things out, and make a decision here. So I'm going to go to basic shapes, I think, and just get ordered rectangle. I'm going to flip this rectangle up here in dimensions. You don't have to do that. You can choose your own adventure, guys. Do whatever you like. I'm going to make it's actually the height. I think. There we go. So that way I have something to stand on. Figure this out. But first, let's go ahead and um, put some behaviors on our players here so that they can move around. So you're going to select your player. So I'm basically using this bar as a floor. Um, it just depends on how you want your boss scene to go. We can do die and pit and reload later if you want to have that or um, like to reset the scene. Or I don't know, I think I'm just going to keep a floor for the box. So I um, have Carl. I'm going to go into behavior. It's the third option down over on the left. I'm going to click on add behavior. First one will be control pad. It's like a circle of arrows pointing out. I'm going to close the right side there. Um, I'm instead of all directions, it's the second option. I'm going to do left and right. I'm going to turn physics on. Chris, the color is white. It's fine. You can change this to whatever color you want. And now you should be able to do left and right. There is also an option in there to do um, the arrows on the right side of your keyboard. If you have a phone or a tablet, obviously you just click on this. And Move it around. But yeah, I'm moving. And I can move that bar, it looks like, down a little bit more. I don't want to see it. It'll let me. There we go. Let's try that. Oh, I can still see it down a little more. Maybe two. Well, 
that works. Sweet. These out of the way because my head's gonna hit them. All right, so now um, let's go ahead and jump. Also, if you play this and you're moving like all the directions, like if I hit W and I'm floating around, um, you can do that if you want because some of these things are like in space and so you get like the floatiness of it. Um, that's really cool, but that's here in the directions. All directions, you would um, be able to, no, it's not working. Go everywhere. I think it's also in the physics of the gravity. But um, I like just doing left and right. And then we're going to add another behavior for jump. So let's click on add behavior in the behaviors for our character. Go further down. There's jump. It looks like the ready maker guy getting ready to jump off the ground with the arrow pointing up. And then controls. I'm going to do W. So I just have A, W, and D for my controls here. I'm like so sniffly, you guys. My allergies are bad. <laughs> I apologize. So now, now it jumps. It doesn't jump very high. <laughs> I might increase that a little. Oh, we, we had like a double jump in there. There we go. There we go. It's more like right on the ground now. Cool. So now um, we're doing pretty good. So now we're going to put in a boss. So this is new for us. This is the last level. I'm going to make some room over here, I think, to leave these guys. Um, and we're going to put a boss here. I'm gonna, so we're going to click on the plus button on the right. We're going to go to artwork. Let's see. What's like anti-cupcake here? You guys take your time picking something out. You don't have to pick what I pick. Pick whatever you like. I want to find something good. Maybe I should just use the same mouth. I feel like it's a cupcake's worse than me if he wants to stay alive. It's been eaten. I think about this for a second. What a G. There's a lot of things in here. <laughs> In there, it's kind of fun. Explosion. I just use my usual mouth. Just do the use. I'm gonna make this bigger. Boss, make it big. All right, so now should be able to move around. Got my boss. So we're gonna do a couple of things with the boss here before we finish up. One thing we're gonna do is um going to add a bullet behavior to the boss. So what we're going to do is have it move, depends on your game, probably up and down. You can have it move left and right. Um, but I'm going to give this a bullet behavior and then put like we did with, um, if you remember the platform from a couple of weeks ago, where you put objects on either side so it would um, bounce back and forth. We're going to do the same thing, but have this move up and down. So I'm going to add behavior. And the bullet behavior, remember, is just movement making an object move. So I'm going to turn active on. Speed's probably going to be a little high. I'm going to move this. I'll probably have to move it down. Instead of the flow direction being to the right, I'm going to move it 90 degrees. I'm going to do up. Or you can do down, which is not 267. I think 90 is easier. It's not the greatest at math. 90. OK. And I'm going to turn bounce on. 
but we don't have anything there to keep them in the frame, right? Let's just speed them up. So I have the floor here on the bottom that will work, um, but you can choose any object and just have it go off the screen. I'm gonna go, uh, so let's go to the right. I'm gonna click on plus. I'm gonna, um, I'm not gonna do artwork actually. I'm gonna do, you can do artwork if you want. I'm gonna do a basic shape. I'm just gonna do another bordered rectangle. It really doesn't matter what it is. It's just gonna be off the screen. Um, I'm gonna change the rotation to 90 degrees. Make it a little bit longer. There we go. Just put it right up here. You won't see it in the game. But then my um, boss will bounce off of it. See. Sweet. I think I'll speed it up just a little bit. I might end up changing it again here. But let's see. There we go. I like that. It looks good, you guys. So um, the last thing we're going to do today is put in a light meter. We're going to do events later that are going to make this work, but we're going to give our boss a light meter. And basically, when we hit the boss, um, his light meter is going to go down. So um, that is going to be the plus sign again. Um, I'm going to condense basic shapes. It's going to be an interface and text. It looks like a finger, like it's tapping a screen or something. I don't know what it's for. Um, and there's going to be a life meter in there. And it looks like a life meter. It has the little like chunks, the little like um, percentages, and there's a percent sign at the end. You're just going to drag that in. And um, I think it's an appearance. You can change the color of it. We're going to turn solid off for that. Um, I'm going to call it boss life meter. It's the only one we have. You don't have to rename it. That's at the very top. There's like a pencil up there. It has the name. You can change the name of anything. I can call Cupcake Carl something else. Um, but let's turn solid off. Let's do, yeah, that's fine. And I'm going to turn the collider off because we want it as something just like a visual. If you've ever played like Street Fighter or something, it has like your health up at the top. Something kind of like that. You don't interact with it, but it's up there and you can see it. And then here's the colors. So you can change the colors at the very bottom here. Um, the first color is the actual, I think the amount of life you have. And the second color is like the empty part of your life, life meter. So I don't want blue, let's see, maybe like orange, maybe orangey yellow. Orange and blue are complementary colors. They always look good together. I could be green and be complimentary with the mouth. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, I'll do green. Green's good. And complimentary just means um, if you guys have seen a color wheel, they're the opposite sides of the color wheel. So there's the boss's life meter and our hero. Nothing happens. Oh, we do interact. Bounce them away somewhere. I think what I'm going to do, um, let's do one more thing with this boss here. This is a new part of the curriculum, so I'm kind of also <laughs> winging it a little bit because things like that happen and I just don't even think about it ahead of time. So let's click on our boss. And in the physics, let's turn physics on. I'm going to turn gravity off. But I'm going to lock the, hmm, I think it's Y position. Nope, nope, it's the X position. I had it wrong, you guys. Behavior, nope, physics. Lock X position. So that means I shouldn't be able to knock him off course anymore. He should just stay on that X axis going up and down. Shouldn't be able to knock them around anymore. There we go. Nice. At least off the screen. So that looks great. All right. So for today, you're just going to take a screenshot of this screen here with your hero. 
some platforms or a floor or something. Um, you want to see the light meter, your boss, and just some platforms to hold them in place. And just make sure, um, I'm gonna call this level four. I have to differentiate between these videos that I make in the live class. Edit and cover. Get the curl in the sky. And hit save. Make sure you save your game, you guys. I hate it if you guys lost your work. And um, yeah, so just take a screenshot of this screen here, just where you're editing and working. That's all you have to turn in for this week. And next week, we will get this life meter working and put some more um, things into our scene here. So I will see you then.